Well, speaking of taxpayer-funded promises, there is a story out of Philadelphia getting a lot of attention today. As a city councilwoman takes advantage of a legal loophole to hit taxpayers with a massive pension bill. Marianne Tasco will be stepping down from her job tomorrow, but only so she can collect her pension, over $478,000. Her retirement then ends on Monday, and that's when she returns to start a new term and resumes picking up a paycheck after she's already cashed in that pension. Trace Gallagher live in our West Coast newsroom <laughs> to explain this one to us. Trace? You know, it's funny, Megan, because the city of Philadelphia's webpage says that Mary Ann Tasco is, quote, politically savvy, and she is proving that to be very accurate. She's retiring from her sixth term as a Philadelphia city councilwoman, and she gets the nice parting gift, as you said, of $478,000. But on Monday, she gets sworn in for her seventh term, and she goes back on to the payroll. TASCO AND OTHER COUNCIL MEMBERS AND OTHER CITY WORKERS ARE ENROLLED IN A PROGRAM CALLED DEFERRED RETIREMENT OPTION PLAN. IT'S CALLED DROP FOR SHORT. IT WAS STARTED BACK IN 99 BY THEN MAYOR ED RANDELL. IT ALLOWS EMPLOYEES TO COLLECT SALARY AND BUILD UP THEIR PENSION DURING THE FINAL four years of their employment. For example, come back on camera, I'll show you this. Marion Tasco in 2007 said she planned to retire in 2011, right? Her pension, roughly $108,000 times four, gives her $432,000. But get this, the city guarantees them 4.5% interest over that time, regardless of how the stock market is doing, for a grand total of $478,000 for Marion Tasco. Now, this was supposed to be a revenue a new neutral plan for Philadelphia, but a new study just came out and said, guess what? Over the past 10 years, instead, it has cost the city of Philadelphia $258 million. The mayor of Philadelphia, Michael Nutter, tried to get rid of this program. He vetoed an ordinance that would have continued drop, but guess what? Again, the city council overrode the veto, and guess who sponsored the ordinance that continues this program? Say it with me now. Marion Tasco, who just got elected to her seventh term in Congress. So apparently they love her. That's unbelievable. And it, it really is just another disappointment for the mayor. I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trace. <laughs> just another. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Good old Marion. Good I work know. if you can get it.